The final case research design uh, that uh, we'll be covering this module is what I am calling uh, multi-level designs. Again, this is a name that I made up. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody else was using it. It's a logical name, but uh, I made up to describe a particular type of case investigation where uh, a lot of the investigation involves uh, developing case studies of activities occurring within a broader information, within a broader organization, in this case, the Muma College of Business. So really the case study is about the Muma College of Business, but most of the data informing the case study comes from case studies, uh, many case studies of activities uh, within that organization. So very quickly, we'll go over uh, what the objectives you're trying to accomplish in multi-level designs might be. Uh, we'll talk about dealing with multiple units of analysis within a case. And then finally, uh, we'll talk a little bit about the one reading that we have for uh, this section, which is uh, on the Muma College of Business as an Informing System. Just like the name sounds like, the uh, multi-level uh, case design involves multiple units of analysis. And so the case selection process essentially involves selecting a top organization, which is the principal unit of analysis for the case, and then component units, or potentially individuals, uh, are studied in individual case studies uh, and the analysis focuses on how they uh, contribute to the top level organization. Uh, the observations uh, are made at both top and unit levels and we try to imply triangulation as much as possible at both levels. Uh, the analysis uh, involves uh, something along the lines of portfolio analysis. Normally when you're putting together a whole bunch of units, what you want to see is how they interact together, a little bit the way the elements of a portfolio are designed to work with each other. And uh, most of the theory uh, is taking place at the uh, top level, as will definitely be the case for the uh, Muma College of Business case, which we'll now talk about briefly. All right, so the Muma College of Business case is uh, looks at the Muma College of Business, and I'm sure you'll be shocked to discover uh, that it focuses on complexity uh, using theory derived from informing science. In fact, a lot of the theory that is employed in this case comes out of the GIFX case. Uh, uh, that you might have looked at uh, under the individual case designs. Now, the GIFX case also involved uh, assembling a lot of units, but we weren't doing case studies of those units. We were basically looking at experiments through interviews. We weren't trying to triangulate them. We didn't talk about the experiments. They weren't case studies. But in the MUMA case, uh, essentially each of the units that we look at or each of the activities that we look at are described in the appendices. And there are over 20 of those activities and you can tell because they go appendix A, B, C, D all the way till practically the end of the alphabet. And we did a little case on each one of those units and in many cases tried to triangulate with whatever data was available. Um, the uh, exploratory research uh, was sort of trying to find a framework that could capture business act school activities, specifically those activities that did not involve uh, direct informing of students, which is to say normal classes. Uh, so what we were trying to do was look at activities which spawned other activities. And as you go over the case, you can sort of figure it out. Again, the argument is based on a complexity rationale, which essentially says that when you've got uh, a complex environment like the world of business today, 
Uh, you have to uh, encourage peer-to-peer -peer learning and learning across all sorts of boundaries. And so what we were trying to do in this case is develop a framework which might ultimately be used to assess uh, a business school's ability to work outside the traditional bounds of education. Uh, though I need not repeat it, I will just emphasize once again that you can use the uh, quiz to try to guide where you focus in the case. Generally, the good principle is to just give the case a quick skim so you've got an idea of where things are. And then, you know, as you answer questions on the quiz, look uh, at areas of the case uh, that are relevant to it because again we're trying to uh, inform you about case design not necessarily make you an expert on the Mooma College of Business.